Kylie Ray retires from pro wrestling. Chris Bay is an entrance in their New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup. EC3 not at the latest tapings, and Falaba has re-signed with Impact Wrestling. All this coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just want to point out uh, real quick that I have my own YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Lots of cool interviews on there with indie stars, legends of professional wrestling. I got Ricky Morton, Nikita Koloff, new one up with No Class Bobby Bass. Uh, Check it out, Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get right into it. Kylie Ray has announced her retirement from professional wrestling and says she is unwell. Let me read the statement from from Kylie Ray in a post that was on her Patreon account. Uh, She wrote, Good morning. I am truly sorry for the pain I've caused and miscommunication. I am currently unwell. I am also sorry that I wasn't able to get this out before your monthly subscription charge. I wanted to take this time to say I am no longer a professional wrestler and am currently taking a break from social media. It's been a very hard decision to make, but please understand. When I am well, I will try to fulfill any obligations that that I have missed. During this time, most tiers will not be able to be fulfilled. Please feel to unsubscribe from this membership Patreon account. Thank you for your understanding. Wow. Just wow. I, I just want to say uh, to Kylie Ray that uh, whatever help you need, Kylie Ray, I really hope you get it. And this whole professional wrestling thing, this whole missing Bound for Glory, it, it, it's nothing compared to, to what you looks like you're going through right now. So mental health is a very, very serious thing, very, very serious issue. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart... Kylie Ray, please, I hope you get the help that you need and you get through this and you get well very, very soon. So I just uh, wanted to say that to Kylie Ray. And, you know, I, I'm not upset at all that, you know, she missed Bound for Glory. And a lot of people were confused and might have been upset. But that really doesn't mean anything anymore. What means, what matters now is Kylie Ray doing what she needs to do to get herself healthy. So again, Kylie Ray, my prayers are with you. Get well, and I hope we see you soon down the road. And I know she's off social media right now. Um, I checked the late, last time I checked the Twitter account, it was taken down. So she's going through some tough times right now. And and again, um, and I know I'm speaking for everybody here at the Impact Lounge, and I'm sure I'm speaking for everybody out there listening. Kylie Ray, our prayers are with you. Get well soon, Kylie Ray. And I'm, I'm certain that if you do decide to come back to professional wrestling, that Impact Wrestling will welcome you back with open arms. I know there's no bad blood. From what I've been reading, there's no bad blood between the two. I'm, I'm sure Impact Wrestling is doing whatever they can to, to help. And should she decide to return to professional wrestling sometime down the road, like I said, I'm sure um, Impact Wrestling is saving her spots, is keeping her spot open, and they would welcome her back. So, um... That's it on Kylie Ray. That's it on Kylie Ray. There's really not much else to say. Uh, but uh, again, I, I hope she gets through this. And I do hope that we see her back in Impact Wrestling uh, in the in the near future. All right, let's move on. The New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup will be December 12th. Uh, I'm not sure. It's going to be held in the United States, but I'm not exactly sure which venue it's going to be held in or where it's going to take place. But they announced all the entrants. And Impact Wrestling will have a presence at this year's New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup as Chris Bay will be an entrant. He is will be involved in this Super J Cup. And I'm I I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more excited uh, for Impact Wrestling to be represented in the Super J Cup by Chris Bay. And yes, TJP is in the Super J Cup as well, but he's 
not under contract with Impact Wrestling. He's um, he's. I'm looking at the the entrance here, and he's labeled as a freelance wrestler. Uh, Chris Bay is um, the only wrestler in this tournament that's officially signed to Impact Wrestling. So congratulations, Chris Bay. I I can't wait for for this. This is going to be a great tournament. Also in the tournament will be uh, El Fantasmo, Clark Connors, uh, TJP, as I said, ACH, Blake Christian, Ray Horace, and Leo Rush. So this is going to be a terrific tournament. And Chris Bay has a chance to to shine on a worldwide stage. This is going to be viewed all over the world. It's going to be on uh, New Japan World, New Japan Pro Wrestling World, uh, their streaming site. And uh, everyone... All over the world is going to get a chance to see Chris Bay do his thing. And I'm very excited. This is a great opportunity for Chris Bay. And I have no doubt that he is going to shine on the worldwide stage at the Super J Cup. And I, I'm looking forward to this tournament. Uh, this is going to be fantastic. Again, December 12th, New Japan World, their streaming site. It's going to, it's going to be fantastic. And then one, you, you, you have to wonder now, you know, Chris Bay Impact Wrestling, you know, and I, and I went on the New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling site, you know, and they they indicated Chris Bay is from Impact Wrestling, so you have to think, how is the relationship now between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact? Now I, I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun and say oh this is going to lead to a, a working relationship because it seems like every every time somebody from one promotion wrestles for another promotion suddenly there's a there's a there's a, a working relationship in the works. So I don't want to say it's uh, there's a working relationship in the works between New Japan and, and, and Impact. I'm just saying these are baby steps. These are baby steps. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure the Good Brothers had a hand in this. I'm sure the Good Brothers had um, something to do with, with getting Chris Bay in, 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 into uh, the Super J uh, Cup tournament. You know, and, and the World Tag Ch- Tournament is coming up as well uh, for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Good Brothers are involved in that. So a uh, very exciting time, very exciting time right now uh, for Impact Wrestling. They're going to, they have, they have uh, somebody who's very, very talented that's going to, I think, shine in the Super J Cup tournament in front of a worldwide stage. And it's going to bring a lot more eyes to Impact Wrestling. And who knows, who knows, like I said, baby steps, this could very well lead, this could lead, I, sh- I don't want to say very well, but this could lead to, um, some sort of working relationship with Impact Wrestling. Now you're thinking, you know, Chris Bay in the Super J Cup. Are we going to see somebody from New Japan possibly come over and and work um, in Impact Wrestling? You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It could it could be just even if it's like a simple talent exchange. It doesn't have to be a full fledged working agreement. Just a simple talent exchange between the two would would be suffice for me right now. Uh, so, so we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see what happens there. But, but bottom line, Chris Bay, congratulations! You're going to do absolutely fantastic in the Super J Cup. All right, the latest set of tapings. The latest set of ta- tapings. Uh, EC3 was not involved. He was not involved in the latest set of uh, TV tapings uh, for Impact Wrestling. And uh, there's no word if he's going to be involved in the next set of tapings, which I believe is November 17th to the 20th. I believe I was reading. And uh, there's no word on whether he's going to be at um, at Turning Point as well. I'm going to talk about Turning Point in a second. Uh, so not not the best news. Um, big EC3 fan. I know right now he's doing his thing in, in Ring of Honor. Uh, but that's what he wants. That's what EC3 wants. He doesn't want to be tied down to one promotion. He, he doesn't want to be locked into one promotion. You know, His new character is going to be going from promotion to promotion to promotion. Uh, so now he's... Um, in Ring of Honor, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him eventually in MLW, possibly AEW, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him out in Japan in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, but that's a contract he wants, and hey, I I have nothing against that man. You know, I'm a fan of EC3. Uh, again, I would love to see him back in, in Impact Wrestling. I'm sure he'll be back in Impact Wrestling soon enough. Uh, but for this set of tapings, no EC3 unfortunately and uh maybe the next set but there's no no word on that yet so so we'll see we'll see if anything if he shows up uh for the next set of tapings i mentioned turning points turning points uh huge uh it was announced that uh, turning points will be taking place november 14th uh, no matches announced yet but it's gonna be exclusive to impact plus uh, so impact impact plus november 14th turning point event um keep your eyes open for that I'm going to just predict right now one match. I think we're going to see Moose against Willie Mack. 
uh, at that show. Um, possibly the North defending against. Um, I'm gonna. Th- I'm. I don't. I, I'm not gonna see the Good Brothers just yet. Um, but uh, I think that'll be on Hard to Kill. But the North will defend the titles. Probably a rematch against. Um, well, I don't know if um, Alex Shelley will be. Alex Shelley is hurt, so I don't think he's gonna be ready for that. So maybe it'll be tri- maybe it'll be a Triple XL. Maybe we'll see the North defend against Triple XL. And uh, I could anticipate that Rich Swan um, will defend the title. I am, I'm, I'm saying it, it's going to be a rematch um, against Eric Young. I think we're going to see it's going to be a, a gimmick match, maybe like a hardcore match or, or a ladder match or something against, uh, against Eric Young. So, but we'll see. Well, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for, for any match announcements and um, looking forward to Turning Point on November 14th on Impact Plus. And last but not least, last but not least, Falaba has re-signed with Impact Wrestling. Terms of the contract are not yet av- are not yet available, but bottom line, Falaba has re-signed with Impact Wrestling, and we're going to see be seeing a lot more of Falaba in the future. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think he's a great talent. I do hope that this whole storyline with uh, the whole money storyline ends shortly. And because I think Falaba is is capable of a lot more. I mean, he is very, 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 very talented in the ring. Uh, every match that I've seen with him, well, just about every match that I've seen with Falaba has been very, very entertaining. Uh, so, um, but hey, we're going to get a lot more of that because Falaba is sticking around. He has signed the contract extension. And uh, that's great news for Impact Wrestling. All right, so on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.